to all the single girls. I was the girl who wanted to be married by 20, but didn't get married until 29. I was the girl who almost got engaged at 19 to a man who made her feel ugly and worthless simply because she was caught up in the mind games, afraid of being alone, and didn't think anyone else would love her. I was the girl who often wondered what was wrong with her, why her friends got married and she didn't. Was she too fat, too thin, too smart, too quiet? I filled my life with friends and service, but still I felt so alone. Each year that passed, my heart cried over all the adventures my husband was missing, all the memories I'd have to tell him about instead of make with him. I wondered if I'd ever fall in love. It sounded too good to be true. And then one day I realized I'd never actually been alone. There was one person who'd been with me every step of the way, my Father God. Every memory I'd wanted to make with someone, every moment I'd wanted to share with someone, I'd shared it all. Every tear, every giggle, every funny, embarrassing story, he'd seen it all. I could turn my eyes up and remember with him, with my Father God. To all the single girls, all this time, You've never walked alone. When I was 26, my dad suggested I quit my job to travel and speak full time. He said, what do you have to lose? You're single. I was, I was still single. So I quit my job, packed up my hatchback with boxes of books and traveled all over the country, just me and God. We made memories together. We saw the Grand Canyon together. We laughed and cried together. When I was afraid, he'd paint the evening sky in my favorite colors. When I was excited, laughter would burst out of me and I knew he was smiling too. There were so many things I learned through this season of singleness, but only one thing changed everything. I learned that this was my father-daughter time. To the single girls, this is your father-daughter time. This time, just you and God, you'll never get it back again. Not like this. You'll always be with your father, but someday there will be three of you and not just two. It'll be a beautiful new adventure, but totally different. Honestly, my single 20s became one of the sweetest seasons of my life. I felt like I was just getting the hang of it and then it was over. Then there were three of us. When God put my hand in my husband's, it happened so quickly it took my breath away. This new team of three makes my heart so happy and full of life. I love this new adventure altogether. But I will never forget all the memories I made with just my father. In fact, I could cry just thinking about them. You see, I'd always known that getting married young was a gift from God, and it is. But I never knew that being single for a while is just as much a gift from God. I will forever rejoice that I can look back on my 20s and say to God alone, remember when? I'm so grateful God kept me single long enough to recognize that season was a gift and open it up because it changed my life. To all the single girls, singleness does not mean there's something wrong with you. It means that God is offering you a gift, an opportunity you'll probably never have again, not like this. Gather up your courage, grab onto his hand and open up your heart. Let me tell you, this is one gift you don't wanna miss.